Peace. Join channel here over at Subscribe right now over at Odyssey. So uh, Gina Carano intends to sue. Gina Carano, with uh, Elon Musk's help, is going to sue Disney for wrongful termination, and I assume also for uh, something akin to defamation for the comments that they made about her. So the wrongful termination, uh, will that win? Uh, probably not. But the, the def defamation has some stronger... Uh, is a better cause of action probably because of the Disney's representatives comments on Twitter to her, but none of that really matters. Be what, what matters more uh, beyond her in the culture war is that people are made aware that Disney's not Disney anymore. And if you, the more things you can do to put this out in the public, that this, this, this Disney is not the Disney you might have vaguely remembered from, I don't know, the 40s to the 90s to maybe even the early 2000s. Um, because even like 2003 was Pirates of the Caribbean, right? That's when they started that. And then the big shift over people are probably more aware of is uh, 2015 when they made that the Disney Star Wars. And people watch that and are like, what the hell is this? What is this? Like, you make George Lucas's prequels actually look good. I, I, sorry, Lucas, we were so mean to you. Um, so anything that brings that to the, that that puts a focus under Disney, people look at Disney and goes like, yeah, you guys are pushing all this kind of kiddie stuff. That's not really our values. In fact, that's not most people's values. The whole, the last video is about the Disney and the pronouns. It's like, yeah, that's just Weimar levels of degeneracy Disney. This is, Disney's not Disney anymore. A lot of things are not what you thought they, they were anymore. So anytime that brings it to the uh, public attention is a good thing. So she announced that she's teamed up with Elon Musk for wrongful termination because Elon uh, had put out a tweet there about this um, Klaus Schwab's and uh, who's the other guy? Oh, I forget the other guy's name. Schwab and uh, who's this? Not Larry Fink. Well, maybe it was Larry Fink. Um, they're doing the whole uh, the die stuff, the diversity, inclusion, and equity stuff. It's it's one of their globalist tools to destroy nations. So he said, you know, if you were if uh, you were affected by that, to hook up with uh, Twitter for. And we will uh, take a look at your case. And uh, he did. So uh, so her part of her comments is she goes, 20 years of uh, doing a career. Now, here's the thing. Everybody likes Gina Carano, except for the, the insane, blue-haired, mentally ill leftists who don't know what bathroom to use. But like normal people, people who are not absolutely schizophrenic and deranged, or uh, in some of these cases, some of these left-wingers are, I think, on, I've got a chemical dependency issue. Um, they like Gina Carano. And there's the leftists have to kind of steel man this position to find a reason to hate her. And like, oh, she something about the Wu flu and the experimental treatment for that. Like she she, she said she didn't trust the government and the media and uh, something about pronouns. Like, yeah, that's not enough to want to destroy somebody. But to left wingers, it is because they have this they have this weird binary that they have to flick in their mind, this switch they have to flip. Where they have to make somebody a bad, bad person, and there, there's no, they don't have shades of gray. It's just yikes, my guy, you're a wrong thinker. You're basically Hugo Boss because you, uh, you didn't take an experimental treatment. And it's like, hey, when did the left wing suddenly trust the government, the media, and the big, uh, big farming companies? It's like, oh yeah, those are left wing values to trust the government and the media now. Really? What happened to you people? You're out of your fucking minds. Trust the government, media, and uh, and a big farming company that's you know they're selling they're not selling it they're selling it to the government you idiots you think they're doing it for free they made a trillion dollars always fun follow the money and ask who benefits i better not get too much into the, the whole woof loop thing always trust the government and the media guy i mean i didn't i didn't trust them i know you didn't trust them either that's why we're hashtag pure blood so she releases a statement she goes 20 years bell in a career doing a uh, what was she is in the Deadpool movie or something? I didn't even know who the hell she was except for the Mandalorian. And during the regime of former idiot Bob Chapek, and he is, and Bob Iger is not any better. They're both globalist nut jobs. Lucasfilm released the statement, which I think is defamatory, on Twitter, terminating me from the Mandalorian. Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilms. There are no plans for her in the future. Her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. That's the part that I would uh, I would raise a stink over. And if Elon Musk wants to pay for that, um, that's a good thing because it's just it's showing you like it not only okay Disney fires people and hires people all the time. That's not a big deal. If someone's too much of a an optics problem, but for Disney to cuck to the left wing this egregiously. 
needs to be needs to be out in the public. And for Disney to re- release a statement like that, that's not a professional statement. You would just part ways with somebody if they were a problem. You wouldn't release a statement like that. That's not how adults act. And people are looking at Disney like, this is a $150 billion company releasing statements that feel like they're written by SJWs at, uh, at Tumblr and BuzzFeed or something. It's bizarre. So, um, so she says nothing is further from the truth, obviously. She, uh, her original tweet she released was basically saying, treat people uh, better, don't um, marginalize and oppress uh, people who, to the right of you politically is what the, uh, the mainstream media and social media was doing at the time. They're trying to other, I guess, conservatives to, um, to, um, to shift the blame to them for everything. She goes, the truth is I was being hunted down from everything I posted, every post I didn't like. Yeah, that's, there's a lot of Twitter SGWs who will follow people around and look at the posts they like. Bizarre, bizarre, stalking, sociopathic behavior. But, you know, there's a lot of very mentally ill people who all it takes is a cell phone and a Twitter account and they can get out there and just act crazy. And there's nobody to kind of correct them like they would be in real life. So she was not in line with the acceptable globalist narrative of the mainstream media and social media at the time. That was before Elon uh, got Twitter. My words were constantly twisted to demonize and dehumanize me as a uh, based Chad, extremely cool person. It was a bullying smear campaign aimed at silencing, destroying, and making an example out of me. Bingo. The thing is, it was a bad thing for Disney to do because she just didn't do enough to be fired and the mando like she was a big part of why people liked that show uh she just wasn't she just wasn't online being that outrageous enough like disney should have just ignored it which is what most companies should do for everything is just ignore it but they release that statement and people are gonna like this this feels like a teenager wrote this statement so she um she goes on that she was uh, terminated based on her political opinions yeah obviously as well as her pushback against the lockdown restrictions. The, that was the weird thing during the, uh, in quotes, uh, woo flu of 2020, is to watch the left wing. It, w- what that taught the lesson was, if you make them afraid, and some people on the right wing cuck too, if you make people afraid in general, and the, so the government and media is making you afraid. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, but before this, this woo flu, you didn't trust the government and media. Yeah, that's right. But now, because they're saying something scary, you trust them? You should trust them less. I, I trusted them less, and I know you trusted them less too. That's why we didn't, you know, take part in that experiment. Um, but uh, they did. Apparently, they did trust the government and media enough to take a uh, take that thing. Um, so she goes, "Were my questions about uh, people wearing panties in front of their faces, lockdowns, and forced experiments okay to ask and push the subject in into the light?" Yeah, you should always. The scientific method is about asking questions. It was trust the science. Yeah, I trust the science, but not the scientists, because you can buy them like you buy anyone else. You have to see the science. Oh, can we look at the double blind placebo controlled studies with the long term studies issued? Oh, no, because they don't exist. Well, where where are the long term studies? How come they don't exist? Because we don't have a time machine. Oh, so this this is just kind of a roll of the dice. Well, yes, but it all depends on how much you trust the media, government, and these big farming companies. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Okay, well, then first do no harm. Not Heraclides. Uh, who's that other guy with an H? The guy with the barbershop thing. Hippa, Hippa something. Hippogriff? Is that a, like a lion with wings or something? You know what I'm talking about. The barbershop guy. Um, first do no harm. So if you don't know what to do, it's like, don't take an experimental. Don't cut that tree in winter. Uh, pray to God, but row to shore. I, you know, I don't know what's going with that. Um, should we be allowed to publicly discuss these topics at the time without being harassed or censored? Absolutely. That's the open marketplace of ideas. But the left wing, no, no, no. She didn't trust She didn't trust the media and government. I look at the left wing. I'm so disappointed in you. And some of the people on the right wing, too. If you if you can make people scared, it's like the Disney prequels with George Lucas, like that was half the plot. I know I don't know if he was talking about Bush during that. That was the theory at the time, though. I think it would have been made, made before Bush to start writing these things out. Where if you whip people up into a frenzy and the emperor is able to seize more and more control, and it's funny. Like they were saying, it was a. I guess the analogy was to Bush seizing control. It's like no, it was. You actually had to 20, 20 years later. It was um, it happened under, under Trump. It's like I'm rushing to get you the best treatment possible. It's like, 
There's, you shouldn't rush for some of these things. These things should take time. These things should take time. And a lot of times, if you just do nothing, things will settle themselves. I don't. I think I'm. I don't know if I said too much for YouTube. Um, at what time? At one time, YouTube was uh, was kicking. There's the guy who got his. Uh, the Nobel Prize for the uh, the treatment in one of a treatment that treated uh, a parasitical issue, which is um, a related to this issue. Um, and he was on YouTube with a video, I think in like 2016, accepting his Nobel Prize for that treatment. And uh, and they, they removed the video and kicked him off YouTube. For some reason, the guy who's like PhD Nobel Prize. And so the tech people at Google kicked off the actual research scientists because the actual scientists went against the narrative and these uh, the tech people, uh, the Susan Wojcickis, were deciding were deciding the science for you. So it's like, trust the narrative, but the narrative is coming from Google and not from the actual research scientists because Twitter, Twitter ban banned all those people. They actually kicked all the scientists, the researchers who went against... Oh, this is, this is too much for YouTube. They kicked all those people off, which is... Um, is that's not science. That's a narrative. You're asking to trust the narrative. Anyway, so Hollywood says they support the women's and uh, equal rights. They definitely do not. Why then were my male co-stars permitted to speak without uh, uh, sent to the uh, the gulags, the re-education treatment or termination? But I was not afforded the same right to exercise my freedom of speech um, because you because Disney's run by globalist lizard people. That's why Gina Real. She's represented. Um, by Elon Musk's, uh, you know, he said he was going to get a, uh, anyone who felt they were wrongfully terminated for political ideology should reach out to him. So she did. So Elon Musk uh, got in contact with her and a bunch of other people, and uh, they're they're going after some of these things. And like I said, like this wrongful termination, I really doubt it. It, But um, I don't know the contract or where they're, is it a California thing or what, or Florida? Uh, but it's, uh, I think it's California, right? That's where their primary incorporation is. But uh, it's the defamatory statements about saying that she was or implying that she was harassing people based on their religion and stuff. And it's like you can look at the tweets and she was saying you should be nicer to a conservatives. I mean, but but a big part of it was where she put her uh, uh, her pronouns online. And uh, that was a big part of it when they go, uh, we want Gina Carano. Can you list your pronouns? And think about what that is. That's compelled speech. You're you're asking and pressuring someone to put their pronouns online. It's like, she's a biological, she, she's a biological woman. She doesn't need to list her pronouns. Her pronouns are she and her because they match to her, her sex. There's no other option. But these Twitter kids were pressuring her, um, which w went into threats. And it's like, ultimately they pressured Disney to, to fire her because she didn't want to list her pronouns. And she listed beep as her pronouns, you know, computer pronouns for some reason. I'm not, I didn't get the reference to that. But it also kind of shines a light on these these left wingers who are using all these zur zim and nonsense pronouns and kitty self and wolf self and you know they're like zur other kins from outer space and furries and and whatnot. So you go, oh yeah, we have to take that seriously, but we can't take her computer pronouns seriously. It's, like, it's all nonsense. It's all all of it's nonsense. Oh well, you're fired. Oh well, that, that doesn't seem fair. Anything anyway, win win lose or draw, um, which I guess would be a, a settlement to uh, like pay attorneys' costs to break even at least. Um, anything that shines the light on on the parasites that Disney Disney is uh, is a good thing. And uh, hashtag Gina Carano is our girl. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next episode.